You're listening to the all-new KBLU Radio Network. That's the Blue Raven Network. Visit our website at www.oneblueraven.weebly.com. Never replicated. You're listening to the all new KBLU Radio Network, Blue Raven Network. Cast 
you out by the power and the authority of Christ I now cast you out by the power and the authority of Christ I now cast you out Because it is that time of year, this verse has come your way to tell you why I can't condone this pagan holiday. Merry Christmas is a phrase you'll hear this time of year, expressing heartfelt sentiments to those you hold most dear. Let's keep Christ in Christmas is another timely phrase. It's Satan who is glorified. Beware his subtle ways. Jesus is the reason for the season, some folks say, and yet the scriptures teach Christ wasn't born on Christmas Day. For God declares the 25th was not our Savior's birth, yet saved and unsaved on this day. Rejoice with equal mirth. You can't mix children of the dark with children of the light and expect this fornication to be pleasing in His sight. But men love darkness more than light, is what the scriptures say. And so they've tried to Christianize this totally heathen day. Jesus is the way, the truth. No truth is of a lie. So celebrating Christmas time, his true church will not buy. If men call this season holy, then chuck it full of lies. Can this be of the Holy One or just a mere disguise? When men call something holy, you had best beware. Satan's at the heart of it countless souls to snare. Can you believe the Christmas season with its drunkenness and mirth gives honor to our Savior to recall his holy birth? Do you believe that every place that sports a Christmas tree, abortion clinics, banks and bars are Christianity? Whose birthday did it celebrate before our Savior came? It's still the same old festival. Someone just changed the name. It's Nimrod's birthday party. Always was and e'er will be. Think of these things, dear Christian, as you decorate your tree. For long before Jesus came, this holiday was kept. From Babylon into the church, this season slowly crept. Satan shakes his fist at God. What fools these mortals be! I told you I'd deceive them, and they would worship me. Old Satan takes a scripture truth and mixes it with lies. You'll spend eternity with me, the old deceiver cries. But Christ declares from majesty, I've still a faithful few who are awake and will not bow nor bend their knees to you. God seeks those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. For many, this means we must reject the lies taught from our youth. The standard is not set by men, but set by God alone and only those who follow it will sit upon the throne. God is one who won't be mocked. He's weary of our ways, of taking pagan festivals to call them holy days. They say if we remove the lies from all this Christmas fun, we'll soon have nothing left to remind us of God's Son. Like Santa Claus, he's coming, kids. They never bat an eye. But God sees this for what it is. It's just a Christmas lie. Satan's elves make all those toys, and Santa's reindeer fly. <laughs> he knows the good girls and the boys. Another Christmas lie. In case you haven't figured out, his demons pull that sleigh, and Santa is really Satan, just spelled another way. And for the more religious, how about a sacred lie? The Savior's born to mankind, so we'll all see paradise makes no difference how we live or what we do and say. God wouldn't send a man to hell. It's not the Christian way. Jesus born in Bethlehem on Christmas long ago, freezing shepherds grazing sheep in the December snow. Christmas hymns and natal scenes, as holy as they seem, cleverly are part of this hellish Christmas scheme. 
Jingle Bells, and Silent Night led many souls astray. But now you have a glimpse of how God views this heathen day. Holly bells and mistletoe and toasts of Christmas glee may leave you with a hangover for all eternity. Candles, lights, and Christmas trees are pagan to the core and befit not one washed by his blood, but flaunted by the whore. Don't fall for this deception. I pray you'll come to see. The white horse of apocalypse is bearing down on thee. There is no truth in Christmas. It's just a pack of lies. Presents from the evil one with hopes your soul he buys. Of many false Christs we are warned, most in the pulpits be. Beware when they say, come, let's carol round the Christmas tree. The secret of the Lord's with those who fear his name, if you really are a Christian, cease from his worldly game. Luke 16 tells the story. Verse 13 is especially true. You cannot serve two masters. Choose today which one for you. We're saved. It doesn't matter. You may hear some preachers say, but we'll all out find out differently when comes the judgment day. If you were blind, he could forgive. But since you say you see, the consequences you will reap for all eternity. In vanity you worship him, traditions for to keep. Protesting barks and oinks I hear aren't coming from the sheep. In Revelation 3.16, the fate of many lies. Not bold enough to take a stand, they yield to compromise. And then they wonder why he says, Lukewarm, I'll spew thee out. They've let the standard so far down, they may not hear this shout. Every word of God is true, and we must be the same. Let's seek to reach the standard and be worthy of his name. The pilgrims would not celebrate this date the world holds dear. They boldly stood against it, sound in truth. They did not fear. My friend, if you love Jesus, if he reigns within your heart, forsake this Christmas garbage and refuse to take a part. For one day we'll soon give account for all we've said and done. Have we stayed steadfast in the Lord or bowed to Satan's fun? If you really want to please the Lord, refrain this wicked way. Love, honor his holy name each and every day. Bow your head and ask the Lord, forgive me, I have strayed. I've worshiped Christmas idols, into their hands I've played. O oh, Father, we cry out to thee in these last dangerous days. Give us strength and courage to repent our evil ways. If you don't know the Savior and you're sick of all your sin, just open up your heart's door, for he's promised to come in and repent and he will wash your sins much cleaner than the snow. When you take on his righteousness, to heaven you will go. Don't wait until you're good enough. That good you'll never be. Let Jesus save your wretched soul. He sets sin captives free. You cannot offer anything to one who is all wise. Cain's offering was evil. Abel's was the prize. No matter how you are and give, how lavishly you bestow, won't keep you from that fiery fate, the lake of fire, you know? And giving gifts to needy folks you think rewards may bring, but all your works mean nothing, lest you serve the King of Kings. In Matthew 7, 22 and also 23, show holy works done in his name can be iniquity. It's those who hide behind a mask, doing works for all to see, that may impress their fellow man, but fail to well please thee. So long before you do another work, before comes the end this day, think long of who is glorified when Christmas games you play. Jesus Christ, the Holy One, righteous, pure, and true. I won't put Christ in Christmas to dishonor him, should you? This Christmas poem with author unknown was read by one of our faithful listeners, Brother Gary Fowler from New York.
You're listening to FOJC Radio, where truth in the Word of God is found. He 
that dwelleth in the shelter of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Because he loves me, I will rescue him, and I will satisfy him with a long life. And he shall call upon me, and I'll answer him, and I will show him my, I will show him my, I will show him my. You're listening to the all-new KBOU Radio Network. That's the Blue Raven Network. Visit our website at www.oneblueraven.weebly.com Often duplicated, never replicated. You're listening to the all-new KBLU Radio Network, Blue Raven Network.